What's up, guys? This is going to be an analysis for my subscriber, Shifty, uh, who's a Marth player. So we're going to be analyzing this from the Marth perspective, but it is against a Falco. Um, and he wants me to analyze game two, and he already won game one. So we're going to see the, the counter pick coming from the Falco, um, which it looks like it's going to be Yoshi's. Their first match was on Battlefield. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to take a look at this one. This is a matchup I enjoy a lot, something I put a lot of thought into over the course of, like, I'd say the last six months. So we'll see how Deeps ends up playing this and how you uh, how you respond to that. Um, Yoshi's story is kind of tough. I actually think this is becoming more and more of a Falco favored stage in the matchup. Um, I feel like Marth really strives on having a lot of space to bait Falco in, especially after all the take laser mix-ups that Marths have been doing recently. Um, utilizing side platforms can be really good here, and it is sort of that same concept of like, you know, Marth does have a lot of uh, range, so he can police a lot of the stage uh, with his sword, but uh, Falco is getting better and better at kind of dealing with, the, with those sorts of things. Um, but regardless, I still, I still think like tippers through the platforms, easy up airs, uh, low top platform can really help you too. So we'll see how it all kind of plays out and how you two um, choose to play it. So let's see, starting positions, you guys both start on side platform. What you'd want to see from the Falco is a drop down laser. Um, and from you, maybe top platform movement could be really good. Also just dropping down immediate could be okay if you like dash forward after laser trying to take center stage because you don't want to like be in the corner already. So we'll see how this kind of happens. He does approaching short hop laser, which isn't great, and you run off fair. So, so far you're winning these interactions a lot. <laughs> okay, nice power shield laser. Um, it's rough because he's just barely outside of your immediate threat range. This is what I actually call, you almost do a perfect job of showing it. This is what I call your immediate threat range. If you're out of shield and you don't have access to like a dash short hop or like a wave dash and then a jump or something, your immediate threat range is how far you can drift with your aerials, right? And so you drift forward with this forward air and you're just barely too far away, um, which is a little unfortunate. So maybe just a little bit more recognition right here could have helped you just based on the amount of distance in between you guys uh, when you got the power shield. Maybe something like a dash forward, um, or I'm sorry, a power shield wave dash forward forward smash could have given you a little bit more range here because you probably had the time because he looked to be a little tripped up by getting hit by the power shield laser. But regardless, you get hit by um, this early down air at low percent. You probably could have shielded here because already you're crouching. Um, so you got hit and it looks like, yeah, you're crouching here. You probably could have shielded this and then wave dashed away or something like that. I don't know exactly what this animation is right here. Like you're trying to get away, obviously, um, but you could have either dashed away here or shielded uh, to prevent the shine from happening. If they do a rising down air at zero and it connects with you on the ground, I, I don't think that they can combo it. So you're on the ledge. Um, ledge is actually pretty complicated for Marth and it's all based around mix ups. Um, so right now you do a get up attack. Get up attack is actually pretty decent against space animals because if they're not holding down, uh, it'll actually knock them over at zero. Um, so this is actually really good, or at least Fox. I know it knocks Fox down at zero, but it would definitely not knock uh, Falco down at at least 12. Um, so that could have been really good, um, but he was a little too far away for that to be effective. I'm not sure if that's exactly what you even wanted to do, but that's okay. He has a pressure sequence now. Late aerial shine is kind of rough for you to deal with. So um, if I'm like thinking about alternatives here, so you do this uh, get up attack. I think you had to shield because you didn't have enough time to jump. Um, it's possible you could have dashed off the stage and like back aired and then just like grab ledge or something but that would have been like the most smooth thing either you could have crouch canceled that blah 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 um so yeah i think maybe you could have shielded here i think that the only thing that really could have helped you in this situation is something that zane's been doing really frequently which is uh light shielding and it'll just uh stop any pokes from happening and then uh you can oh what is this anyway how did it even happen what key did i press i don't know but um if you light shielded right here he actually pushes you off. I'm not sure if the light shield would have helped. That's so weird. I don't know if you had a great answer in this situation. I'm just trying to think about it constructively. Like if you light shielded, you also would have been shoved off this platform. Maybe if you could have fast fall on the ledge maybe, but you didn't have any, there was like two frames where you're being pushed off. I honestly don't know. This is a really hard situation to deal with. Um, there was potentially enough time after his down air that you could have spot dodged the shine. That's the only thing that I'm coming up with. But even that wouldn't have been great, honestly. Okay, so double jump Nair. This is the first time I've seen you do this, but I'm hoping it doesn't become a habit. This is like desperation. Um, this is like, okay, well, I want to get on stage and like, I hope this works. And uh, it didn't quite hear. He's getting a little greedy with his punish. I really like the fair to cover yourself on your landing right there, especially with the recognition with him moving forward. 
fair right there, not up air. Um, maybe to mess up with the mess up his uh, slide off di and stuff like that because it does look like he was holding in and down. So that's not bad. Oh, great idea! Honestly, a really really good idea. Late up air um, on this platform situation is really good. Uh, they they can't like directly shield drop punish you if you actually land this. And I'm almost certain, oh my god, that almost hits him. It's literally a frame away. If you got one more frame, it would hit him right here. Um, and it shield pokes Falcos quite easily. So that would have been extremely nice, especially this percent. Up air, I mean, you up tilt. If he dies this way, he's like dead because you down air him. If he dies the other way, then you combo, right? Um, so I really like the idea and the recognition for going uh, for this, but you just slightly mess it up, which is a little unfortunate. Um, make sure the timing on your fares, I, I think it could be slightly better with these late ones. So... Um, you can actually make your fair, I believe, even with the weak hit, it can be like minus one on shield, which is extremely good as long as you're fast falling it and inputting it at the right time. It does look like you did this one a little bit early though, um, which does he counterattack you for it? He does back air, but you tried to dash through him. Nice, nice snare. Um, let's see, does he even try to set up with a laser before this or no? No, he just tries to dash into you. So this was good coverage of yourself. Um, Marth can pretty low committally do these short hop nares. It does auto cancel, um, and you can dash back immediately afterwards, or you can shield. So it's really hard for the Falco to read exactly what you're going to do afterwards. And it's so large, and the way it lines up with Falco hitboxes is, is such that a lot of times you're going to be beating him out. So this is really solid. And then the good recognition... Um, Doing that right there and this is one of the times where from the falco perspective you might want to uh light press your l cancel because you might have locked yourself out of the tech window trying to l cancel the down air and then you recognize this forward smash because recognizing this knowing when techs are going to be hard is a really good way to get strong punishes so that was really good that was extremely nice as well good edge guard i like going to the ledge and this time you roll from the ledge so it's all mix-ups okay good recovery I like the snare from the ledge too. So it's a little unfortunate that you didn't get this forward air. Um, did he get back aired? Okay. Nair from ledge, dash forward. He tries to back air. Whiff punish. This has all been excellent. The up tilt. Nice. You potentially could have walked forward right here and then turn around up tilted. It would have been slightly better for you so you couldn't DI behind and get off the platform. Just a slight optimization, but it doesn't really matter too much. I also think that walking forward would have allowed you the opportunity to react to if he had uh, rolled to the right as well. Um, just something to think about, um, maybe altering your position slightly when you up throw people onto a side platform to like get directly below them. Good power shield on the laser. Unfortunate full hop though. Like full hopping is really rough with Marth. Um, Falco can just like pretty directly punish this or wait it out and nothing will really happen to him. Um, so as you see, he kind of just waits in the corner, shoots a laser and you're forced to like, well, you're not forced to, but you do give up the space here, right? Um, so this is kind of like the first time we've seen the take laser dash back mix up. It does look like you were a little slow on it. I think there was a little bit of time where you kind of just stood still. Um, I'm, I want to go frame by frame just to, to clarify. Yeah, so you probably could have dashed back right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like you kind of started like eight frames um, after you probably could have. And then uh, with your back turned here, that's really unfortunate as well. I think maybe what you were trying to do is get a dash back power shield on the laser, but even that isn't necessarily the best thing to do. So like a shield pivot grab right here would be so good. Um, but instead you have your back turned and you have no options to directly punish the snare coming in. So that was really unfortunate. I don't know if that was a tech flub from you if you actually wanted to shield pivot like I was talking about, or if you were trying to dash back power shield laser because of him approaching with a short hop and you thinking that's what uh, he was gonna do. But, um, yeah. Good recognition of Randall timer, too. Uh-oh, you should be dead, right? Okay, so what you should do here um, is jump up like you just did, but then you want to counter. Um, you definitely want to jump up, counter. If you countered right here, he's, like, almost guaranteed dead unless he uh, sweet spots around it, which is really difficult. Or text it, I guess. Um, but it's pretty easy to tech the down air, right? Um, so he doesn't have notches, I guess. What could have happened right here... Or maybe not, because he didn't jump up high enough. But he could jump up a slightly higher and then do an upbeat angle that could potentially avoid this forward smash. But since you're on um, the lip of Yoshi's, it actually reaches incredibly low. So I'm not even sure if that would have worked. Probably not. So this is actually really, really good coverage by you. Yeah, actually thinking about it a, a second time, that's really, really solid. Good stuff. I still think that the counter is probably a, a more direct kill because he could have done like tech side B, um, which would have messed with some stuff. But yeah, very nice recognition from you. Good stuff. 
good air dodge as well. You were kind of in a, a tough situation, but you were close to the stage, so you had this option available to you, and he didn't react correctly. So this is really good. Hmm. Potentially rolling right here. He was back airing the spacing, back airing the spacing. So this is actually like pretty hard to deal with. Maybe drift forward and air here too, but that does um, come with a certain amount of risk as well. Um, maybe wave dashing back to the ledge, kind of slow playing this could have worked as well. Um, kind of like doing the Mewtwo King ledge camping strat. So like right here, you whiff the grab, he back airs your shield again. As soon as he dashes this way, like you could have just short hop back and just grab ledge or something. Um, or just wave dash back and grab ledge and then just play it slow from there. I'm not directly sure what you wanted to do, but you did short hop up, probably wanted to do something. But you have to do something preemptive to like wall yourself out. Nice, catch up shielding. Okay, again, this is kind of what I was talking about. This is the second time. It's kind of interesting. You probably do want to like preemptively kind of walk forward to this tech in place position. Maybe you thought he was going to tech in place. Maybe you thought that this could cover right here. It's actually really close. Sorry, I'm trying to rewind to see how close it was. To kind of see if this was a good idea or not. Because if he teched away and this actually hit, this actually could have been devastating. Maybe even kill him. Oh, that was really close. Well, actually, his third box is over here. Yeah, so maybe just walking forward slightly more so that you're directly under the tech in place is like something that you should focus on slightly more when you're punishing with the side platforms because that's kind of the second time. Scramble situation. You full hop again. Be really careful full hopping. It only works against Falcos who are like willing to commit in bad spots. And it seems like he's willing to be at least a little bit patient. He burns his double jump for no reason. You're going for reads again. I think that reacting with up tilt, especially at this percent, could be so good for you. He can't slide off tech the up tilt. Um, your up tilt just leads directly into a, a forward smash or a down air on this side of the platform, and then you just get a combo if he dies it any other way. So yeah, don't be too greedy. This is something I talk about when I analyze for Falcos a lot. It's like you don't have to just like end the stock right away, right? Like you can, um, you can like build up the percent or do something a little bit more guaranteed on reaction that would help you get that kill. Like no matter who this Falco is right there, if you up tilt them when they tech to the left right here, they are in such a, such a fuck position. It doesn't matter if it's deeps, it doesn't matter if it's mango or west balls or me or whatever. So fair up tilt, this is actually like a weird pressure mix up that Marth has, but I, I do like the, the late fair into up tilt because you do have good frame advantage there. I don't think you timed the fair perfectly again, but that's okay. Yeah, good DI from you. Drifting back to the ledge. Great recognition is again. This is something that would like go missed by a lot of people. So you're drifting forward here and you started drifting back, uh, realizing that he was gonna like try and cover the ledge. And then you just double jump sweet spot. Very, very good. Up tilt, catching him right there. And you try to do the down air um, slightly. Correct. Yeah, that definitely would have worked. So that's a little unfortunate. So let me see what you did after this. So you did down air. Um, you try to down air him again. Yeah. Potentially a little bit greedy there. So it's really rough to like just preemptively short hop and do like something passive in the corner. Like what you, what you could have done right here, um, most likely. Let me just go back and see. If you did jump up like this and you get hit by the laser, like I would throw out a nair right here, and if you get hit by the laser, you're in the same amount of stun, right? So one, two, three. You could have forward aired. It looked like maybe you were trying after the fact. I think that's what that animation is. But yeah, fairing out of taking laser in the air is really good. It looked like maybe that's what you were trying to do, and maybe his grab, grab came out in time. Um, I'm actually not certain. But yeah, honestly, if you're going to short hop like that in the corner... It's really rough doing like late fair or something. So you want to do like a nair that might like be out for slightly longer and auto cancel and cover you in the corner um, and actually beat out Falco moving in. But the, the laser from him was pretty good regardless. It's a tough situation to be at the corner. Work on those sweet spots. Got to work on the sweet spots. Um, this is something that all Marth players are bad at. So if you can get good at sweet spotting your upbeat, it, it's going to be so good for your play. Um... So, so good, because Crouch Cancel Down Smash on, on Marth is so rough. You could probably also tech this. Um, you probably just need like one SEI input right here. You would have been able to tech that. Unfortunate. Uh-oh, got a little caught up in your movement. I don't know if you missed your L cancel here. Let me see. Yeah, it looked like you missed your L cancel, so you were under pressure and you rolled towards you, okay. So this is rough. What I'm seeing, the shift that I'm seeing from um, 
when things were going well for you is that now you're almost exclusively in the corner and he's almost exclusively pressuring you when it was almost the exact opposite kind of towards the beginning of the match right um so if you can work your way out of the corner or at least try and not position yourself here so frequently i think it would help a lot and rolling towards center stage i think could actually help you a lot if you time them correctly So again, like um, this is like a really small thing, and this is really particular to this situation. But maybe instead of shielding here, like running off and down airing, and then getting center stage, because you'd be over here, he can't hit you. Um, or even just like jumping up to top platform, working your way back down to the ground, but like not being in the corner could be really good. But instead you like short hop to avoid his hit, which is okay. And then do this, which also is okay. And then you, if you shield it here, maybe you like shield grab this down air, which could be solid. Um, but again, you're just working through different layers of pressure, right? And so it's hard to deal with. And that's rough too. Down and right here. Gotta hit your techs. Um, definitely, definitely gotta hit your techs. I think you can probably do slide off DI on down air until decently high percent as well. So like, let's say you rolled in here and then he did another down air. I'm pretty sure that um, you could have been fine. You also maybe could have OMS attacked that second down air. I'm not sure. But those platform combos are rough. Um, let me just see this. How do you get opened up here? So again, like too heavy of commitments in the corner, similar to like how you were forward smashing a little bit too soon or how you did that down air that made you end up in shield in the corner. Like you're trying to just go for these heavy commitments in the corner when you could just be like walling out right here. And the, the grab was probably ill-advised regardless. I do the same up air as Marth and I love how it feels when it works. Love it. Bam, you get that late upper and then you start comboing him. It feels so good, but it really does not cover you well. First of all, it starts out over here. This is a very basic thing, and I already know that you know this. But even just thinking about it, it starts out over here, and it, sometimes you can, like, get the hitbox to hit behind you, and it'll catch them. Um, and it feels great, right? They might even die. Um, but it's really not that effective of, like, a strategy in terms of, like, attacking into center stage, right? So, again, you're kind of just... You have your back to him, which is really bad against Falco. You have your back to him... Um, and you're, you're not in, like, any sort of good position either because you're still in the corner. So you regular get up, which is fine. The the preemptive nair again, which I like. Forward smash going for a read when you didn't have to. Okay, that was... This is scary because this is a similar situation which you were in before. I still would like to see maybe a little bit more of a preemptive thing, but you barely avoid his down air. Miss the power shields. I would still be... I think you could take laser slightly more often. Um, you're not doing a lot. That was nice. Um, you're not doing a lot with your um, your power shields at the moment. And I think he's been approaching like kind of poorly. Like that would have been rough uh, to take laser dash back from. So this is like a poor example. But I think like throughout the game, I think you could have like done more take laser jab even. Take laser jab right here would have been great. Would have stuffed his laser for sure. Yeah, see, look at this. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight nine nine frames until his laser came out and your jab comes out what frame four i want to i want to say um and so you definitely could have stuffed him moving in and that throws falco off balance you don't get a direct punish but you can at least work from that position where you're instead of being in shield and laser stun now in a shine now you at least threw him off balance right wave dash back forward smash but didn't have the space uh, to actually work with that so that was unfortunate not a great recognition of spacing again and then that was unfortunate. This is good though. Nice. Got the read with that down air. Nice. I love the wave dash out. Yes. Yes. Take center stage. Get out of the corner. Perfect. Perfect. This is super good. Yes. Amazing dash dance too. Tech chase. Yes. Yes. Up tilt. I probably again would have walked, but maybe not at this low of a percent because maybe he's not in the air for long enough for you to make an impact like that. Ah. Hmm. If you didn't turn around right here, I'm pretty sure you would have shield poked him. Because <laughs> it would have been coming from this way. But that's okay. Oh no, the desperation jump again. So this is what I was talking about at the very beginning with that Nair that you double jump back with. Be patient. Utilize your resources, right? Like instead of just doing uh, this instant double jump, don't be afraid of the ledge. Like, go to the ledge. This is called being afraid of the ledge. When you double jump like this, 
it's like, uh, I don't want to be on the ledge, but like you have mix-ups from the ledge. A lot of Falcos are really bad at dealing with it too. But doing this and jumping really high, burning your double jump, at, especially on Yoshi's where you can cover the side platform with things like this, is really rough for you. Okay, laser forward tilt, you're in the corner, okay. Again, this up air is okay. It worked out this time because now um, he's closer to you because he committed a little sooner and you do the up, uh, up tilt after that, which is that pressure sequence I was talking about. Let me just see this one more time. Um, I just, I want to know if there's anything else I should say about this. So I like using the side platform. I think like the only thing that maybe could have improved here is like instead of just immediately going off the side platform, I think like waiting on the side platform might have been okay. Although he probably would have pressured with an auto castle back here in reaction to that. And then I don't know if up air is like that great on shield. Maybe if you run off Farad right here and did it late, this up tilt maybe wouldn't have traded. Um, I don't know. The, the up air is just something I'm really not sure about. And then kind of a hasty shield drop too. Um, so be careful, be a little bit more patient on side platforms because Falcos have a really hard time dealing with it. Like potentially, let's just think about like a potential universe where something else happens other than this. Um, let me provide an example. So like, um, right here, you shield this back air instead. He lands, he lands right here. You wave dash out of shield off the platform, back air him, you have center stage. And now it's like a whole different world. You have center stage, he's at like 60%. He's probably even pushed maybe to the ledge or farther in the corner. And then you can wave dash forward, forward smash him. I could kill. Um, you could play a mix up where you have like take laser dash back. So just be patient on the side platforms. Make sure that you're not shield dropping before um, the attack actually hits you. Mango's gone out and said that like the only good times to shield drop or like um, the most effective time to shield drop is after someone's hit your shield. Other than that, it's kind of useless. Um, but like you can use it in cool combos and stuff, but like just be careful trying to escape too quickly. You know what I mean? Um, but I hope that you appreciate the analysis. Um, if you have any clarifying questions, please feel free to ask. I'd love to talk to you about anything, any of the things that I said. If there's a certain scenario that you feel like I didn't talk about enough, also feel free to bring that up. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll catch you guys later. All right, peace.